Welcome back. Let's continue our brief example of backpropagation and how a neural network can learn. In the last video, we had the same perceptron we've been using. It has, it has two neurons in the input layer. For the features, it has whiskers and is a good boy. And cat has the value 1, 0 for these features. Dog has the value 0, 1 for these features. You take the features and you multiply them by the weight of the connection between the input layer and the output layer. So the weight that connects the has whiskers neuron to the output is 0 0.523. And the weight that connects is a good boy to the output is 0 0.342. You add up the results of these multiplications. So for cat is 1 multiplied by 0 0.523 plus 0 multiplied by 0 0.342. You get a certain number here, 0 0.523. You pass it through an activation function, which is bound to the nearest integer. You get a 1, and then this is the output that you wanted. You have a structure that converts an input 1, 0 to the output 1. It also converts the input 0, 1 for dog to the output 0. But we have to do this in two epochs. First, we made a mistake. And then we used backpropagation for the network to learn what the correct weights should be. So in this example, we're going to go through multiple epochs of training. We are going to feed the uh, values of the input forward to do forward propagation. We're going to measure the deltas or the amount of error that we get. We backpropagate that error to recalculate our weights. And then we're going to be doing this several times and then until we get weights that actually work for what we want. Your Canvas website has a PDF that you'll need for this exercise. It's called Backprop Example. Please pause the video, download that PDF, and keep it open because you're going to need it for your part of the exercise. Please pause the video and I'll give you a few seconds. Okay. So at this point, you should be familiar with how we would calculate the input, how we would uh, go from the input layer to the output layer. So what is the input cat giving to the output layer? And also what is the input dog giving to the output layer? As a final reminder, it's the value of each neuron multiplied by the weight and then the summation of those. So give it a try and try to calculate what's the value that's going to go from the input layer to the output layer for cat and for dog using those randomly generated features. Pause the video. These are the values. For cat, it will be 1 multiplied by 0 0.36 plus the feature is a good boy, which is a 0 multiplied by 0 0.63 equals 0 0.36. For dog, the, uh, the feature has whiskers is 0, and the feature is a good boy is 1. So it's 0 multiplied by 0 0.36 plus 1 multiplied by 0 0.63 equals 0 0.63. So this is what gets transferred from one layer to the other to the next one. So that's the value that you got. And then you have our activation function, which is rounding to the nearest integer. What is going to be the activation for cat and for dog, given the values that we have? Please perform the operation. Pause the video and perform the operation. In effect, cat is going to give you an activation of 0 because it is less than 0 0.5. 0 is the nearest integer. And dog is going to give you an activation of 1 because the, out, the value that goes from the input layer to the output layer is 0 0.63. And when you pass 0 0.63 to the activation function, you get a 1. So as you can see, this is not the output that we want. Both of them failed. When we have cat, the value that goes into 
the um, output layer is 0 0.36 and then when we pass it through the activation function it becomes a 0 but we wanted a 1 for cat. Likewise for dog uh, the value that we get from these two when we add it is 0 0.63 and when we pass 0 0.63 to the activation function we get a 1 but what we wanted was a 0. So neither of them worked. So what are we going to do? We're going to calculate the error, calculate the deltas, and then back propagate so that we can readjust the weights. Um, so please take a moment to, oh, I'm sorry, write these down. The output for cat and dog, 0 0.36, 0 0.63, write them on a piece of paper. And then with that, please calculate the deltas. We're going to use a very simple function. It's the result that we got before the activation function minus the output that we actually wanted. Please uh, pause the video and calculate the deltas on a piece of paper. And we'll verify it when you come back. Back. The delta for cat is minus 0 0.64 because, let's see, it is 0 0.36, which again is 1 multiplied by this, plus 0 multiplied by this. We get a 0 0.36 for, the, for what the output layer received, and then the output that we wanted was a 1. So 0 0.36 minus 1 minus 0 0.64. That will be the delta for cat. For dog, it will be what the output layer re receives, 0 0.63, which again is 0 multiplied by 0 0.36 plus 1 multiplied by 0 0.63 equals 0 0.63. Minus 0, which is the output that we want. Oh, I'm sorry is obviously 0 0.63. So these are the deltas. So now, please make sure you have these on the piece of paper that you're working on. The weights, the, uh, the weights, what resulted from the multiplication of the features and the weights, so the value that we get at the imp in the output layer, and the deltas. And with that, Please try to calculate the new weights. The new weights are the old weight, for, for, the, for example, for the first neuron, I apologize. Um, this is the weight that connects the first neuron and the output layer. So this will be the old weight, the one that we had, minus a learning fa uh, factor, which is a learning rate, I'm sorry. This uh, is going to be 0 0.1 multiplied by the delta for cat, multiplied by the input for cat in the first neuron, minus 0 0.1 for the learning rate, multiplied by the delta for dog, multiplied by the input for dog in the first neuron. So please take a moment to go through that arithmetic and pause the video. back. This should be something like this. The old weight was 0 0.36, learning rate 0 0.1, the delta for cat is minus 0 0.64, the input for cat in the first neuron is 1, and the input, this is the learning rate, 0 0.1, the delta for dog is 0 0.63, and the input for dog in the first neuron is 0. So we have that this uh, increases the weight a little bit, and this has no participation in the increase of the weight. So 0 0.36 plus 0 0.064 is 0 0.42, which is going to be our new weight for the connection between this neuron in the input layer and the output layer. So now you go ahead and calculate the weights for the connection of the second neuron. So this is the weight that connects the uh, this neuron in the input layer, the one that receives is a good boy, 
and the output layer. So what we're updating is this weight, and we're gonna need some values here. Please take a minute to do the arithmetic. So we have the alt weight, 0 0.63, minus the learning rate, 0 0.1, the delta for cat, minus 0 0.64, the learning rate, 0 0.1, the delta for dog, 0 0.63, the input for dog in the second neuron, 1, the input for, for cat in the second neuron, 0. And when we do this, the weight for this connection is going to be 0 0.567. So our new weights are 0 0.424 and 0 0.567. We have performed one epoch of training. And we are now going to enter epoch 2. Um, let's continue. Let's see if the network works or not. So again, take a minute to calculate with the input for cat, what is the value that's going to arrive here at the beginning of the output layer. Um, please refer to the PDF to see the formulas. They're also there, <laughs> but uh, take this to, uh, moment to familiarize yourself with the formulas. Please calculate the input for cat and for dog. As you can see, it's something like this. The value for cat for the feature has whiskers, one, and for the feature is a good boy, zero, multiplied by this weight, mo uh, one, multiplied by 0 0.42 for has whiskers, and is a good boy, multiplied by 0 0.567 is equal to 0 0.424. For dog, zero multiplied by, oh, I'm sorry, this should be 424. Go. Zero multiplied by four to four plus one multiplied by zero point five six seven is equal to zero point five six seven. As you can see, when we pass that through the activation function, this is still being rounded to zero and this is still being rounded to one. And um, our neural network is still off because this is what we got at the threshold of the output layer, 0 0.424, 0 0.5567. This is rounded to 0 and 1, but the output that we wanted was 1 for cat and 0 for dog. So both are still failing. We've moved forward one epoch and we, we are getting closer, but it's still not there. So let's back propagate again. Please calculate the deltas. Here you have the weights and the outputs. Please pause the video. So you can see the delta for cat is minus 0 0.576 and the delta for dog is 0 0.567. Please write, uh, write down on a piece of paper or read it in the PDF the values for the results at the threshold of the output layer, the, va the values of the output we want, and the deltas. So that you can calculate this. Please calculate the updated value for the first weight. Let's update the weight that connects the first neuron with the output layer. This is the equation. Please go ahead. Pause the video. The value should be something like this, 0 0.4816, as you can see from the arithmetic here. How about the weight for the second neuron? Please take a moment to calculate it. Pause the video. This is the value for this uh, the connection of the second neuron, this weight right here. As you can see, the weight gets updated to 0 0.5103. So we're getting close. We have finished Epoch 2, and now we have these updated weights here. 
The weight that connects this neuron to the output is 0.4816, and the weight that connects this neuron to the output is 0.5103. You have all of these results in the PDF. Now I want you to try the whole operation yourself before you move ahead in the video. You need to do the forward propagation, uh, run those results through the activation function, cal uh, compare the output that you got with the output that you wanted, calculate the error or the deltas, back propagate the weights and recalculate them, and at this point you will have reached the end of one epoch, and then you need to forward propagate again to see if now your results are correct. Please pause the video and come back to see the results. Hmm. Let's see. So on Epoch 3, we have for cat, the value for the feature has whiskers, 1, multiplied by the weight that links that neuron to the next layer, 0 0.4816. Plus, the value of the feature is a good boy, 0 for cat, multiplied by the value of the weight that links that neuron to the output layer, 0 0.5184, is 0 0.4816. For dog, it's 0. Uh, multiplied by the first weight plus 1 multiplied by the second weight equals 0 0.5103. When we run it through the activation function, this one rounds down to 0, this one rounds up to 1, which is still not what we want, but we're getting closer, we're getting so close. Let's calculate the deltas. 0 0.418 was what we got uh, on the threshold of the output layer. What we wanted was a 1, so the difference between them is 0 0.5184. With dog, what we got was 0 0.51. We wanted a 0, so the difference is 0 0.51. The update of neuron 1 would be the value, the old weight, 0 0.48, minus the learning rate, 0 0.1, the delta for cat, 0 0.51, plus the input for cat in the first neuron, 1, minus 0 0.1 for the learning rate, uh, multiplied by the delta for dog, 0 0.51, plus the input for dog in the first neuron, I'm sorry, multiplied by the input for dog in the first neuron, 0. This plus a little bit, minus nothing, is 0 0.53344. This is the new weight of the first, this is the new value of the first weight, the weight that connects this neuron for has whiskers to the output layer. Likewise, when you do the arithmetic for the second weight, the one that connects the second neuron to the output, you get 0 0.45927. So the values have finally flipped. Hopefully, this will make it so that things work, and they do. When you go to the fourth epoch of forward propagation, you have, for the cat, 1 multiplied by 0 0.53 plus 0 multiplied by 0 0.45927, is 0 0.53. When you round this, it goes up to 1, and then it gets us the output that we wanted. For dog, 0 multiplied by the first weight plus 1 mul multiplied by the second weight is 0 0.45. This rounds down to 0, and this is what we wanted. So after three epochs of training, the network has converged onto the output that we wanted. It started by giving us results with errors, but we have finally made the weights converge so that the structure is giving us the output that we want. It's transforming 1 and 0 into 1, and 0 and 1 into 0. In summary, look at what we did. We had some object from the world, a cat and a dog. We transformed those into a system of features. We use two silly features, has whiskers and is a good boy. And then we determined the value of each feature for each of our items. Cats have whiskers one, is a good boy zero. Cats are good boys, of course, but it's for the example. Uh, for dogs, has whiskers zero, is a good boy one. We also have labels. So for example, one is a cat, represents a cat, and zero represents a dog. We have this system of features as our input, and then we run it through this perceptron that has an input layer, it has weights 
connecting the layers. It has an output layer where you also run the results to an activation function that rounds these to one and zero. Precisely because the values that we want are either one or zero. We went through several epochs of training so that we started with the weight 0 0.36 and 0 0.63. And after one, two, and three epochs of training, our weights changed so that our output was correct. This is a simple, a single layer perceptron with back propagation. So single layer perceptrons were invented in the 1940s and 50s and back propagation was invented in the 1980s. And together they formed the backbones of neural networks. This is the most basic type of neural network that we can have. It takes some set of features as an input, it performs some multiplication and then, and then gives you an output to classify something or to perform other operations as we'll see. This is incredibly useful but also really strange. What does the structure really know about cats and dogs? Uh, uh, it's just a bunch of numbers and multiplications, if you think about it. It's a strange trick that sometimes works, but uh, when it doesn't, it's really difficult to try to figure out what's going on. So all of these topics are going to be the matter of this week's uh, topic, neural networks, uh, deep learning and natural uh, language processing.